Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. My name is Madam Shara Emma Binti Sain from SK Pematang Talk Day. For today English lesson in for year 6 we are going to focus on comprehension and we are going to do reading and scanning for content. Okay, let's get to it. So, today's focus going to be your pupils handbooks academic style year 6 unit 3 adventure times for the theme of the unit is world of self family and friends the content standard is 4.2 and 3.2 for the learning standard we're going to focus on 4.2.1 and 3.2.2 so let's get to it so what are we learning today for today's lesson First, we are going to read and scan the blog post. By scanning, I mean we are going to focus on the meaning of the vocabulary focus. And then, after that, we will fill in the blanks based on the blog post. So, shall we get to it? Today's lesson, we are going to focus on the blog post inside your textbook, page 34 and 35. Okay, we are going to start with reading. Okay, for the vocabulary list that's on the top of that, there are flint, a hot air balloon, instructor, kayaking, landscape, paddle, scenery, skiing, view, and wildlife. The meaning of the flames usually related to the fire. Hot air balloons is type of transportation that are using hot air to blow out the balloons. And then instructor referring to the people that teach you to practice or do something. Whereas kayaking is an activity that revolving kayak. The landscape is about the area with mountains, hills, ponds, and rivers. Whereas paddle is the item that used to move the kayak or the canoe. And then we have scenery. It's referred to the view of wonderful landscape. Skiing, also another activities that use uh, revolve on snow and using the ski paddles. View is a point of something, a point of scenes of the scenery. And then wildlife, referring to the animals that live in the wild. So, let's start reading. Today, we are going to focus on the blog posts. Okay, blog posts usually written about your daily routine or daily activities. For this one, is Emma's blog. It started from January and it ended on September. Usually, in writing the blog post, you don't need to write the year or the day because it will be archived through the calendar. For example, Emma's blog started on January. Hi, my name is Emma. Welcome to my blog. For this first blog spot from Emma's blogs is 5th of January. Let's get to it. So, started for 5th January. 5th is the day and the date of the day and January is the month. Remember, blog post, you don't need to put the year. Okay. Hi, my name is Emma. Welcome to my blog. I live in Vancouver, Canada. It's a fantastic city with a beautiful landscape okay focus on the word landscape guys and then we got the sea mountains forests and a lot of wildlife have you ever seen a big brown bear canada is the perfect place for sports and adventure this year, I'm going to write about all the good adventure I have. I hope you enjoy my blog. Smiley face and a thumb up. Is in writing blogs, is it acceptable to use emotion emoticon? 
Yes, you may because it's a digital content and you may express your feeling using emoticon. So from the first blog post, we understand that she is going to tell all about the amazing things she are going to do in Canada. So focus on the two words, landscape and wildlife. It's all related to beautiful and the forest. Okay, next blog post is the 10th of January. Remember, you don't have to write it every day. It's just the activity you want to jot down. Today, I went skiing with my family at the Winsler Ski Resort near Vancouver. Skiing at the Winsler Ski Resort. So, the related word was ski and skiing and also snow. I love skiing. We go every year. My favorite ski run is called the Ice Monster. It's really fast and the views are amazing. The views here are referring to the top of the Ice Monster where you it's a point of scene where you can see every mountain and the snow. Stay with me and follow all the cool things you can do in Canada. It's really fun place and a lots of exciting activities to try. I never traveled to hot air balloons or visited Toronto before. So, see you later. So, it giving the fact that she might go on hot air balloons. Let's continue to the next page, 35. For the next page is 12 June. Remember, it doesn't have to be sequencing daily. I've never been kayaking before. Focus on the word kayaking. So I tried it this month. It's similar to canoeing, but kayak is much smaller than a canoe and the pedal got two blades. We went to kayak school in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. We practiced for three hours with instructor and then we, pre we traveled down the Madawaska River in our kayak. It was really exciting and the scenery are amazing. So there are four focus words here. Kayaking related to kayak. Paddle related to canoe and kayak. Instructor explaining they have practiced with someone before they go kayaking. And then scenery reminding about the the physicals around the kayak area which is river and mountains and then we focus on 80th august we went to hot air balloons festival near montreal quebec with over 200 different hot air balloons so emma finally went for hot air balloons right people had to fly the balloons at six o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening when the winds were stronger. So in order to fly a hot air balloon, you need a very strong head. I could see we woke up early today and went for a hot air balloon ride. I could see the whole countryside. I thought the hot air balloons going to be quiet, but they aren't. The flame is really loud and it's hot too. And then she put the emoticon hot. So remember, the flame is related to the hot, which is related to hot air balloons. You must remember this for our next activity. And then we went to the last blog post. It was the 1st September. It was my 50th birthday and we are in Toronto, Ontario with the birthday cake emoticon which remind us that's her birthday remember you can express your feelings through emoticon in blog posts i wanted to do something special so we did edge walk around the top of sea and tower it's the tallest building in the city and is 553 meters high we had to wear special hats, a jacket, gloves, and practice with, again, instructor. 
Then we were tied to a bar and we walked around the outside of the building. We were 350 meters above the ground. <gasps> With the amazing fish he was shocked because it was so tall i went with my best friend charlene it was terrifying but we love it it was the most ex exciting experience i ever had with the excited space emoticon so focus on that's her birthday and she did something special on her birthday so are we ready for the next one before we go to the next activity, let's recap the vocab list. So we have landscape, wildlife, skiing, views, kayaking, pedal, instructors, scenery, hot air balloons, and flames. Remember that so we can go for the next activity. Now, follow me to the next activity. For the next activities, please take out your Academy Star Year 6 workbook, okay? Page 28 and Activity 2. From the previous blog post, we are going to answer it based on the vocabulary list. Okay, so reminding of the vocab list, we have landscape, wildlife, skiing, view, kayaking. Pedal, instructor, scenery, hot air balloons, and flames. So, before we answer the question, let's read first. Okay, this is Adam's blog post. So, it's related to Emma. It can be different people, but we are using our activity based on our blog post. So, complete Adam blogs with the word from activity 1 in your pupil's handbook. So it started with 4th June. Okay, hi there, I'm Adam. I'm doing something i never done before. I'm flying on a, the answer already given, hot air balloons. It's really hot inside because of the, remember, what's related to hot. Okay, but the is from here is amazing. Something point of view. You can see for miles, it's beautiful. Also, something point of view. For the 9th of June, today I was on the river. I never been blank before. And then the point is a kayak is smaller than a canoe. And the what is related to kayak and canoe? Okay, let's go after it before. And the it's different. We practice in the morning with the person that teach you to do something at the kayak school. In the afternoon, we travel down the river. Okay, after the river, what can we see? The was awesome. It was very colorful in this time of year. Okay, on the 60th of June. Okay, now I'm in the west of Rocky Mountains. There are a lot of snow and today i went what is related to snow for the first time tomorrow i'm going up to joseph national park to see all the hmm maybe bad isn't there is animal so remember the 10 word list we for it was landscape wildlife skiing view kayaking paddle instructor, scenery, hot air balloons, and flames. Okay, I'm going to give you set the time, simple time, maybe three minutes to complete all the words. Okay, now, are you ready to check your answer? Let's do it together. Okay, let's start for the first one. Okay, the number one already given. Remember, what is related to hot air balloons? Hi! Hi there, I'm Adam. I'm doing something i never done before. I'm flying in a hot air balloon. It's really hot. Is that because of the? Yes, the answer of flame. Remember, flame is related to hot and hot air balloons. But the is from here amazing. Hmm. 
point of scene is yes the answer f is view you can see for miles it's beautiful mm, are you talking about landscape yes the answer is landscape so for the next blog post six sorry pardon me 9th of june today i was on the river i've never been hmm, i think it's so easy because the answer is next to it kayaking before a kayak is a smaller than canoe and the what do kayak and canoe have in common yes the paddle is different we practice in the morning with person that teach you to do something other than teacher is yes instructor of the kayak school then in the afternoon we travel down the river on the river what can we see the scenery was awesome it was colorful at this time of the year so last post is 16 of june now i'm in the west of the rocky mountains there was a lot of snow hmm, what is related to snow and today i went correct skiing for the first time tomorrow i'm going to the desert national park to see a i see a bear there what is a bear bear is a wildlife correct the answer is wildlife so congratulations if you got the answer right and if you didn't get the answer right please continue with the correct answer so great job everyone thank you for having me today and see you soon